Hello students, today we are going to learn about beach warning flags, as you know, as temperatures are getting warmer, people are getting ready to start going swimming, and we are going to talk about the beach warning flags so you can help keep yourself, your family, and your friends safe. Let's proceed with this educational lesson. The green flag indicates calm conditions. It is a good day to be going swimming. There is very little current and small waves, if there are even any on these days. But there is no such thing as the beach being 100% perfectly safe. And even on calm days, you need to be careful. For example, the floor of the beach can be uneven or slippery. And there is a chance you could fall and get hurt. The yellow flag indicates moderate conditions. There are waves and currents that are visible on these days. It is advised that children should be accompanied by a flotation device, such as a life jacket, arm floaties, or an inner tube. You should remain closer to shore than you would on a calm day. You should be cautious. The red flag indicates rain or dangerous water conditions. There are strong currents and big waves on these days. It is recommended that good swimmers wear flotation devices, and children and weak swimmers stay completely out of the water. It doesn't matter which flag is put up, you need to be cautious, because it is never 100% safe. And you need to keep an eye out for changing weather conditions. The black flag indicates lightning and extremely dangerous water conditions. The water is closed, you are not allowed to enter the water when a black flag is showing. If you enter the water when a black flag is showing, you will be given a time out for putting your life at risk. Please don't be the stupid person that got killed when they went swimming with a black flag showing. The purple flag indicates that there could be dangerous marine life in the area such as jellyfish, sharks, snakes, alligators, Portuguese man o' war, and stingrays. The red and yellow flag indicates that there is a lifeguard on duty, and always remember to stay where the lifeguard can see you. If you are young, you are much safer under the supervision of a lifeguard. The orange triangle flag indicates windy conditions. It is advised that you should not have paper or anything else likely to get blown away. The black and white checkered flag indicates a watercraft area, used only for inner tubes, crafts, boards, fun noodles, and other types of pool floats. The only time you are advised to go in the water with a checkered flag showing, is if you want to use a pool float. Swimming when a checkered flag is showing can be quite dangerous, as you can get into a collision and get injured. The yellow flag with a black circle indicates that watercraft are not allowed, and the area is exclusively for swimming. This is the exact opposite of the checkered flag. The triangular blue flag indicates that diving is in progress, as this means that divers have been called in to search for something that has fallen on the floor. And you should not get in the water, as they are trying to find what they have been called in to search for. Now, pay very 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 close attention to these next four flags, they are the shark spotting flags, you need to know exactly what they mean. The green shark flag indicates good spotting conditions in area where majority of water users are. No shark seen. The green flag signifies good spotting conditions. This will be raised when the spotters can see clearly in the area where the majority of water users are. Please note that if for example, it is low tide and the water is clear for the first 50 meters, but there are 60 surfers at approx. 100 meters where the water is milky or patchy, this will not qualify for a green flag. The black shark flag indicates poor spotting conditions in area where a majority of water users are no shark seen. The black flag signifies poor spotting conditions. This flag will be raised by the spotters if they are not able to clearly see what is happening in the area used by water users. Factors affecting water visibility include glare, cloud cover, water clarity, swell and wind chop. Please note that glare plays a significant role in reducing the spotter's ability to see clearly, particularly in early morning and late afternoon. The red shark flag indicates one hours after a sighting or if a shark is spotted but 
not near water users or if there is an increased risk of shark activity. The red flag is used as a warning that a shark has recently been seen, that there is higher than usual shark activity or that there are known conditions for high shark activity. The red flag will be flown every time after a shark has been seen, for one hour. Provided no other sighting is recorded during that time, after one hour the red flag will be taken down and either the green or black flag will be raised depending upon spotting conditions. If a second shark is seen within the hour following the first sighting, the red flag will remain flying for a further hour from the time the second shark left the area. If a shark is spotted that is far from the area used by water users and poses no potential threat to water users, instead of clearing the beach and putting up the white flag, the spotters will raise the red flag for one hour, but not clear the beach. The shark sightings are monitored daily and trends and patterns can be identified. This allows for the early detection of sudden increases in shark activity. In the event that more than five shark sightings are made at a specific beach on one day, the red flag will be flown as a warning to water users that there is increased shark activity in the area. If shark activity at adjacent beaches is even higher than five shark sightings and the sharks are observed in hunting behavioral modes that is chasing schools of fish or seals, then the red flag will be strongly considered for adjacent beaches, especially if there is poor visibility. It's important to remember that this is a dynamic system and therefore each situation will be assessed in conjunction with managers, scientists and local authorities with the public safety as the top priority. Furthermore, the red flag will be flown when the conditions are conducive to increased shark activity, such as cetacean strandings which are proven to attract sharks to the area, the presence of large schools of migratory fish for example yellow tail or white stingers which attract large sharks. The white shark flag indicates a shark in the vicinity of water users or after a serious incident when beach is closed. The white flag will be raised when a shark is seen in the vicinity of water users and is assessed to pose a potential threat to water users. The spotter will take into account the shark's distance from the water users, its swimming speed and direction of travel. The shark siren will also be sounded at this time. The white flag will remain raised for as long as the spotter has a visual of the shark in the area, whether this is a few minutes or a few hours. Once the shark has left the area used by water users the white flag will remain raised for a short time while the spotter scans the area to ensure another shark has not entered and that the original shark does not return to the area. Once the spotter is satisfied that the shark no longer poses a threat and there are no other visible potential dangers the white flag will be removed and the red flag will be raised. The white flag will also be raised after a serious incident such as a shark bite, when the beach is closed. Well, I hope that all of you students and viewers of this video that subscribe to this channel have all learned something about beach warning flags, so that you can go tell your family and friends, so they can learn about this stuff as well. We thank you for watching this video and learning about what beach flags mean, all copyright crap goes to their owners. Thank you for watching.